crucifix is enlarged this temper on wood cross by the Florentine painter and mosaicist Cimabue. One of three large crucifixes attributed to him. It is hung in the Basilica di Santa Croce, Florence since the late 13th century. It was commissioned by the Franciscan monks of Santa Croce and built from a complex arrangement of five main and eight ancillary timber boards. It is one of the first Italian artworks to break from the Byzantine style of the late medieval period, and is renowned for its technical innovations and humanistic iconography. It is in poor condition, in large part due to flood damage in 1966. The gilding and monumentality of some abuse cross links it to the Byzantine tradition. Christ's static pose reflects this tradition while incorporating newer, more naturalistic aspects. The work presents a lifelike and physically imposing depiction of the Passion at Calvary. Christ is shown nearly naked. His eyes are closed, his face lifeless and defeated. His body slumps in rigor mortis, contorted by prolonged agony and pain. A graphic portrayal of human suffering, the painting is of seminal importance in art history and has influenced painters from Michelangelo, Caravaggio, and Velasquez to Francis Bacon. Representations of the Virgin and John the Evangelist flank Christ in small rectangular panels at either end of his outstretched arms. Both are dark-skinned, bear agonized expressions and rest their heads on their right hands, facing inwards. In keeping with the Franciscan idea, the gilding surrounding the morning saints is kept to a minimum. The size and positions of the two ancillary panels are reduced compared to usual Byzantine iconography, in order to maintain sole focus on the Passion of Christ. Christ is presented as a limp, defeated corpse nailed to a cross. His body arches, forcibly raised against the cross on which he is nailed. Blood pours from the wounds in his hands as his head falls to the side from fatigue, and the physical reality of approaching death. His is naked except for a sheer loincloth cloth that barely covers his thighs and buttocks. His undress highlights his vulnerability, reinforces his humanity and humility. It seems influenced by a 13th century Franciscan meditation on Christ, that emphasized pathos and human interest in the suffering of the Passion. Turn your eyes away from his divinity for a little while, and consider him purely as a man. The painting contains a number of elements typical of a Simabu representation of Christ, including the illusionism of the drapery folds, the large halo, long flowing hair, dark angular faces and dramatic expressions. Simabu achieves a masterful handling of color. Pale tonalities dominate, with the main contrast found in the dark areas of Christ's hair and beard, which are utilized to make the features of his face stand out more and position his head as the focal point. Compared to earlier works of this type, his body is more physically corporeal, and his anatomy more closely rendered. His hands and feet seem to extend beyond the pictorial space, which is delineated by the flat, colored borders of the cross, in turn made up of at least six boards. Both Christ's body and his semicircular nimbus are placed at angles which rise outwards and above the level of the cross. The work in a number of ways surpasses his C1268 Arezzo crucifix. It is more human, and less dependent on specific physical and facial types, while Christ's anatomy is more convincing. His head hangs in exhaustion, his hands bleed from the puncture wound suffered during his nailing to the cross. His arms are placed higher above his head and strain to carry the weight of his body, which visibly slumps. His body takers on a dramatic, almost feminine curve, the result of the contortions forced upon a body nailed to a vertical support. The crucifix measures 448 cm x 390 cm, and consists of five basic components. A vertical board which reaches from the base to the cimetium onto which Christ is nailed two horizontal cross arms and two vertical pieces acting as aprons adjacent to the central board. There are another eight minor pieces, mostly terminals, bases and framing devices.